boy! Hello there, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Tuna 3. It's Jamie Clough Gaming here. This is part 29. And we're in uh, level 3 of London. Uh, Ludsgate, it's called. And uh, uh, I've had two attempts at this level. The first one, the game crashed and uh, completely corrupted the level. So my second attempt at the level I had was actually <laughs> it was pretty much after I'd um, done City the last level. And so it's a bit strange to go back to this level after having to skip it because of the problem and then doing the next level and then doing the level again. Because I had a second scope for the level, I knew the level a lot better, so I was able to get through it quicker. So, there are some benefits to what happened. Not many. <laughs> but, all it says that the original attempt was taking far too long anyway, and the fact that I crashed is probably. it probably saved me a lot better. Because <laughs> the second time I've. Uh, I'll go through it quicker though. There's still been a lot of editing to do. Um, um, and, uh, uh, um, the final, after editing, took 1 hour and 26 minutes to finish the level, which isn't bad. But, uh, originally when I'd attempted it the second time, the, the first was 2052 minutes long. But over an hour of that was fluffing about, uh, not making up for it, so, so. so yes. And given that I was able to do that, the first video in this level is longer than the second one. And it's two parts. Well, it was two parts. So, um, yeah. A bit of a frustrating few days that I've had to uh, edit an enormous. Um, about this footage, and uh, I don't know why I did that. I went to load the game, but there's no reason to. I didn't die or anything like that. Was there. But, um, secret. There are six secrets in this level, and oh yes, we'll be going for all six of them. And uh, do we get them there? <laughs> well, I do want to spoil things, but yes, we do because I know where they are by this point because we're second run through. Yeah, so. Um, but with the the final one, um, you have to be very careful because if you accidentally alert the guards to your presence, they'll lock the area off and you won't be able to get it. So that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> also, we have the this soundtrack now. I'm led to believe that. This is actually an alternate soundtrack playing in the background, which is the one we're supposed to get. Uh, actually, no. I think this is the actual soundtrack. What am I on about? I don't know. But I never noticed this soundtrack before, but actually, it's been around since 201 because it was in the. Um, uh, the uh, it was. <laughs> the cistern. Yeah, the cistern is where we first heard it. Let's be recycled a bit, but I think it's exactly the same as it was in the system. And uh, yeah, been a bit frustrating to guess. Up two hours, three hours, yeah, three hours of footage edited down to something I could work with and commentate on. Um, been frustrating in general, and it's getting hotter. That doesn't help matters. And uh, yeah, so the second secret of the level. Isn't there? Wait a minute. Is that the case? Yes, it is. <clears throat> and with this one, all this is a rocket. But uh, we've got plenty of those, haven't we? <laughs> it's just that uh, I needn't have picked it up. I need to just activate the secret noise. But, uh, for the sake of completion, for the sake of completion, I'll pick up as much items as I can. So I'm not necessarily going for all items, I'm just going for secrets. So, because there are times where I don't know where all the items are, obviously. Um, 
But if I oh, go for as many, oh my god, a box gone. Right. Yeah, I'll go for as many items. <laughs> I'll go for as many items as I can get, mm. but I can't get them all. It's not biggie as long as you have the secrets and a lot of bonus level, obviously. So, um, yeah. I've got the light on, all I can see is myself on the screen. And Lara Croft has died, which is blithering blu blu fantastic, yeah. And the footage has crashed, which is also good. And I've saved the game. <laughs> I don't know why I've saved it. <laughs> oh. What? What? Okay. Um. I don't know. What just left the rocket behind this time? Oh, I know. Oh, yes, yes. This bit's tricky. Um. I must say that. I did it the first time. <laughs> you see, when when I first attempted to do that, oh god. Would it have been funny to leave some of the fudge in? Yeah. Um, I thought about it, but then that would have been over six hours better than the two. It took about, I thought it would take about a week and a half, I think, so just because of my enthusiasm for doing this when this tomb shed isn't that high, that's why I had like the idea to just section all the videos off at half an hour peaks, so I wasn't doing too much editing there going with commentary show, but then the problem with doing that is that I had a lot I make the levels actually go on for more plots than they are because I'm too lazy to do the editing. So I've gone back to the way I used to do it, even though before then, so editing the whole level as one piece takes a lot longer theory, but not really at the same time. And uh, yeah, we're we're um, we're. Um, Hmm. You know what call that guy in the cutscene that we watched at the end of Aldwich? Uh, well, the beginning of this level, really, because it was... You could call him Geordie Bob, for some reason. But is he not Lud, since the area is called Lud's Gate? And that technically is his area, so is that not... is he not called Lud? Hmm. hmm. But apparently not. <laughs> That's good. That might just be the name of the area they're in, really, but uh, I'm like the name of another one of them. You never know. I've got a different atmospheric soundtrack. No, this atmospheric soundtrack might be familiar to a few of you, because um, it was it's been used before in in, in uh, the caves of Collier, I believe, and and some of the other levels, yeah. Right now, this tune is, uh, well, if you notice in the manner when you put this stereo on, this is the only tune that comes out. I do like it. Well, I like the use of, um, I think it was a <laughs> But I would have loved to have actually, you know, got into the business of making music of video games. It would have been fun. That didn't happen. Um, it probably never will, but don't mind that. I can appreciate great music. Can you? <laughs> now, this part of the level is tricky. Um, as um, you may know, it's an Egyptian theme. We're sort of in a museum music, but you ain't seen nothing yet because there's like a giant sphinx to go down and all sorts. So. <laughs> This is just the start of the level. <laughs> and you can spend long enough here. I'll, I think I did spend a bit too long in this section, to be frank. But uh, to be frank, to be frankly, yeah. and the level does loop back around. There's lots of different ways you can do it. You've got to be careful because if you're going for all the secrets, there's there's ways to just completely make not the secrets and have a less than fulfilling experience. 
as um, first time players will. Well, uh, I've played this stuff before in the past. It was kind of like when the first it was kind of blind. I know bits and pieces of it, obviously, but it's a humongous level with all sorts of um, stuff in it, so you can't remember everything. <laughs> I can't remember everything, and sorry, I haven't played for only six years before before this LP, and uh, I didn't test for this one. I wouldn't have dared, even though it would have helped me, actually. <laughs> oh my god, there's a safe game crystal, which is nice. And, um, oh, I'm just like. Uh, yeah, that does take a bit too long. I do spend a bit too long. I'll do it this time. I spent a lot of long the first time I did it. And maybe this won't be as entertaining, <laughs> arguably, because it's shorter and everything. Um, but yeah. But also, there was a problem with um, the first two games in that when some music came on, it would knock the soundtrack. The atmospheric soundtrack off completely. No, it solved it for this game. The atmospheric soundtrack comes back on after the music plays, and that's nice because I need something to go off on. <laughs> I really do as well. Um, I haven't accomplished that much, have we? <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> I like this room, I do. Even though it's a bit. Um, it's a bit boring, but uh, it looks nice. Mm. <laughs> well, it doesn't look that great, actually. Actually, it's not my favourite part of the level by any stretch. So, uh, what I was doing there, I, do, I, I, I have no idea. Um, ah, I actually do one. So, so, oh my god, I don't even speak properly. So, um, <laughs> yes, you're supposed to go out of here, and then go back in here. I forget the exact reason why. Ah, uh, I don't know the reason why, because those stones you move around, they change the order of the room. So you have to keep changing it back and forward, depending on what you need to do. And eventually, you will actually make some progress. Oh, uh, it won't happen for a while. Oh my god. <laughs> What am I on about? I don't know. I don't care. It's a let's play. Let's keep things flowing. Let's keep things positive. Let's keep things interesting. Let's keep things um, semi coherent as well. <laughs> so I have to pull that again. Might be opposite way. And that should reset the room so I can go back in it. I'll try to jump on top of it. And um, you do eventually go back to the starting area. So if you miss anything, and you, you can loop back around and obviously have another crack at us, you can experiment going different ways. The other way, I don't bother going down the shorter route, it just gets you there faster. Um, it's for those who aren't really bothered about the secrets to start with, but uh, yeah, I could have gone back that way to show you that way, but um, given how long this level is, I think, thought I'd give it a miss, really. Like how there's alternate routes to go in um, River Ganges, and obviously I only showed the route I went, because the route that I went was actually the shorter route. But as a troll, it's actually the route you get all the secrets on, so... <laughs> I do remember playing, I do remember going on the other route. And, um... Yeah, I have keys for doors and everything, so it's, it's very interesting that they had a more complex route that was longer. But that missed one of the secrets, I mean... I'm sure that was a mistake, I'm sure that it meant that the, <coughs> the longer route to enable you to get the secrets, but... Uh, yeah. That means, that means the room comes is very short left. <laughs> got this thing where I blow Ross Bruce in the When I lost the track of what I'm saying and then try to say it again. I, 
who knows what I do it, but I do do it. No, 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 give a damn. My friend, I love this, uh, he's hired off and see all the ducks and things on. But because I, I knew kind of what I was doing here, it didn't take as long as time. But not that I could, I could get, so I, I, it looks like I know what I'm doing. But that's because I've already, <laughs> that's because it went wrong the previous time and it oh, I didn't know what I was doing that time too long longer. And maybe I should have left up until the point where it crashed and then, so that's what I was going to do originally. Then edit the other stuff in, but it would have taken ages and ages to do that. So there's, I could have done that, but I didn't basically. And um, so there's two routes to go. But I, the, the optimal route is this one. And you pick up um, Luds and Bombing Fluid. Let's just call them Lud for now. <laughs> Lud. Luds and Bombing Fluid. Because when you use it, it opens a door. You don't have to use the Bombing Fluid, you don't even have to pick it up. Which is the stupid thing because when you think about what 47 the cutscene is, he specifically sends you down there to get that fluid. And the fact is, he can just ignore the fluid, <laughs> not give it to him, and finish the level, and leave it where it was. So he'd be furious, but he, it won't, uh, you won't ever come across him again. It's one of those games. <laughs> <clears throat> And uh, it's not a good place to be shot when you crawl over. Very sporting of the. It, it looks like. It looks like Adolf Hitler. He's got green and red on him. <laughs> I don't know whether that was intentional or not. He pretty much looks like Adolf Hitler. Might have been a joke, I don't know. But he is English, so we are killing our own national guards. Which is fantastic. <laughs> um, but uh, it's funny because the, the guys you meet at the start of the song are friendly and they show you around a bit, even. But they look just like the guys who are attacking us in Aldridge. And those guard guys, obviously, they're not with them. They're, I don't know who the guards work for. Do they? Would they work for Sophia Lee then? Probably. You've heard a bit about, and uh, we've not seen her yet. We see her in the next level, which is very short um, level indeed, uh, and very easy. I'm very, uh, uh, very familiar with that level, yeah, because I've played it a lot when I was younger. That's when I was younger, it was pretty much the only level I could do without cheating. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah, and here's the massive. Museum with the enormous Sphinx. And you know how it tumor to one hot levels of Egypt? Um well this is tumor to threes. Tumor two didn't. Tumor to three goes back to Egypt, but not really because it's London. It's a museum. But uh, yes, I like the idea of tumor to readers in Egypt. Which of course it does in a major way in tumor to four. And that's that is of course is these is is the ultimate exploration. Of Egypt, and of course, um, well, it's died, and the footage has gone off, and uh, it's frozen. And I have no idea what's going on. I think the sound's gone off as well, which is fantastic. Um, computers are ringing up. Shit. I might have to start this again. Let me get them. Oh my oh my god. <laughs> you see, that's the third secret. We've already got. Um, a good number of secrets now, we've got half of them. Uh, and the sound's come back on, but the, the video footage is still frozen, which, um, oh yeah, it's come, and then uh, there's this thing where it speeds up, because it's trying to get to where it's at. This, oh god, I can't, I, I just, oh my god, yeah. 
<laughs> right. So that's a Sphinx guy. There, there is a few items I might have missed by sliding down them all the way. Not to worry. I got the secret, and that's what I care about. So <laughs> that's what and all I've ever cared about. The secret of two and three. This level in particular. It's what I've been working towards for 33 years ago. Well, 33 years, I'm 33. Um, but I've been playing this game for 20 years on and off, so I suppose you could say I'd be working towards this two decades. In fact, since 1998, 22 years. So, oh my god. <clears throat> right? But I don't even think those guys are working for Spire Lee, because. The guards that work for Sophia Lee were completely different again. So who was these guys one for? Probably just the London New Museum, just general security guards. Would general security guards attack a woman? I don't know. Oh yes. Yeah. And would they all look like Hitler? I don't know. They might do, you never know. I don't think they have a Hitler moustache, it's just the uniforms are very Hitler-esque, because oh, uh, I don't think they even have any swastikas on, they just um, look very similar to his. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that of course means the bad. And there's the fourth secret. So, oh my god. <laughs> so already, like, um, 20 odd minutes in, we've got four secrets. That's the vast majority of them. Um, which is fantastic. Obviously, because things went wrong last time, I know the level better this time. And I know where the secrets are. Um, which is nice. <laughs> which is a, a very rare for me in one of these levels, I must say, because often it is the first time. And I have no idea the secrets are. I thought this was going to come up. So that's why you got a lot of pauses and things I have to cut out for several minutes. You should just be standing there doing nothing for several minutes while I look at the guide. I still could leave it recording. Oh my god, it's been a very hot day today. I may have. Um. I'll be overdressed or whatever, but I've been in my bare feet. And, um. No, I must say I prefer Dr. Clark the Cream Soda, but. Thank you for the memories. Um, <laughs> what? Mm. Oh, she really does like a, look like a spider. Or, or, uh, it's just the way she looks. And it's probably the plot as well. It was like a fifth leg or something. As you all know, spiders have eight legs, of course. Mm. Um, unless you pull one of the legs off, that would be cruel. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I had an infestation of ants recently, and um, I, 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 it was my fault, obviously, because I, was, I accidentally had some food near the window. I didn't think anything of it at the time, and uh, well, obviously, when you leave things, uh, then <laughs> then I noticed like some small insects were trying to get in. I shut the window. The next day, I'd realised what happened. Uh, there's a few ants on the window. So I just thought there was a few ants on the window. It was a few days to realise they were all over my kitchen and there was hundreds of them. And, and then, of course, oh dear, the carry on. I managed to get them away now, I believe. Um, but it might come back. Uh, but yes. I found that's kind of fascinating, but uh, <clears throat> largely if they get in your house. They're just, um, what are they? Uh, what would you say that is? The pest, yes, the pest. Yes. And I actually believe that, at least if it was a wasps or a bee's nest or something, you would know where they were, but with little ants like that, you could, they could be fecking anywhere. Um, that's why you need to get the ant killer to get rid of them. Um, 
<laughs> oh dear. I don't know why it is. I was about to say something really stupid there. Because when I used to play this level, I had no idea that your bomb fluid went in there. Or that you were even supposed to come back here. <laughs> but yes, we've collected, we've been a good uh, person. We've got his bomb fluid. Because you can either not get it as well. Or or pick it up and not give it to him. <laughs> or you can pick it up and give it to him. There's three choices. And, uh, however, giving it to him is the best option, actually, because it makes the level a bit shorter. Not by much, I must admit, but uh, by a bit. Look at this cool vehicle. Now, this vehicle uh, is a UPV underwater. Um, vehicle and it, it it moves a lot faster than Lara does on the water and you're gonna need that speed in this level I don't want to reveal too much but it's crocodiles it's um I mean you're gonna need plenty of um, harpoons which is um no problem for me <laughs> for some reason um because he attaches a harpoon gun to the UPV, so you can actually fire it off, which is pretty cool. I would say. Mm -hmm. That's good. I did take a few photographs of her there. Oh my god. Yep. She's pretty in this game. Well, with the way the graphics are, it looks like she just got a part of her nose and not the rest of it. <laughs> what the Michael Jackson esque when he <laughs> what are they all <laughs> trying to make himself look like? Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> yes. Now this part of the level is a part that I'm not very familiar with because obviously I I haven't played this level that often, so this part does confuse me a bit because of I don't know it very well. And you know what? When I watch playthroughs of the game, I don't really notice this level. This this of this level. I don't really notice this part of the level. It's a short interlude. And you're not supposed to spend very long here. Uh, I don't think I do, do I? No. I haven't cut much of me in this area out. But there's a few items to pick up before you. Um, yes, before you descend down into the bits where the, the divers and the gods are. Obviously you have to be very careful and very stealthy around them. If that is, you want to find the, the sixth secret. We of course have got two more secrets to find, and uh, the fifth secret is uh, the fifth and the sixth secret are very close together, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, what I find so funny, however, is the fact that despite the fact I had all secrets. Um, uh, I have more to go after getting all six secrets, which is pretty crazy, like the level. You think when you got all six secrets, you need to finish, but no. That was huge on the water maze to make it. That took me a lot longer than I should have, and I've cut out all of the the necessary bits. Um, so now, you know, I mean, I left the bits, only I left the bits in my air. Actually, making progress, but it did show a bit where I'm looking around and not necessarily making any progress. I didn't want to get too cut happy. Um, I've fallen into that trap before. Um, the only reason. Oh my god, what am I doing? I just fired loads of harpoons. Oh, because they were sticking to the wall, I thought it was fine. <laughs> So I kept firing them and just sticking on the wall. That was a nice touch. I don't know what's that for. Um, but there's a, 
There's another crocodile there. Um, even though you don't get crocodiles in London, <laughs> there's crocodiles in London. It's pretty funny, isn't it? You kind of do forget that it's London because of it's, it's, it's the level itself so bizarre, but uh, it is London, apparently. So, now there's harpoons there. Now, because I've got all of those harpoons, I don't need to pick those up. So, do I pick them up? I don't think I do. Do I? I'll do it. I don't know. But the problem is, when you leave this area, you can't go back in it. So, if you've missed pickups and you need them, you'll probably have to reload the game. And if you haven't saved that, it'll be a pain in the ass, won't it? <clears throat> I actually. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm going back. For oh, fuck's sake. And then there's these orby lights there. Uh, 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 I'm not sure what they are. Um, and, um, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what happens if you don't reach the area from the bottom as you fall down? And if you fall down there, I don't believe you, it's possible to get back up. <laughs> Therefore, you've missed. You see, it's quite cruel. It plays criminally because that jump with the mind fluid is quite tricky to get right. And um, especially with the slope being And if you don't get it right, you're headed for the neuro, and now you've missed the embalmed fluid. And you don't have a chance to get it back. And you can finish the level without it. That's the crazier thing. <laughs> um, but it's just two different ways of doing it. Getting the same place eventually, um, because if you fall down that bit, it's another area with a UP, another UPV vehicle in it. So you don't miss the UPV, you just get a different point if you catch my drift. And then it all sort of, um, well, no matter what way you go down, you go into the same place eventually. Do you get me? I don't think you do, do you? Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna force it. You do end up, you know, you do uh, end up in the area with the diving area, with the diving, with the with the diver and the guard. And um, can you still get all secrets if you go? Yes, I think you can. I think you can. Oh wait, hang on. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, you can because the. Or oh, can you? Well, I've just got myself all confused. Yeah, because... Huh. Ah, yes. Yes. Now, no, you can't get all six of them fall down. Because, um, obviously, two are in the museum itself. So if you, you miss two secrets, also, if you miss the important player, you miss two secrets. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass, if you ask me. It's a bit of a troll, never mind. Now this area here is actually where Frozen crashed. Then I couldn't finish the level the first time. So naturally, you know what at first did us press the old secret screen and skip the level. Initially, but then I, I couldn't live with myself because the Let's Play is about complete, completing the entire level and showing it off. So naturally, I have to redo the level, <laughs> even. The decision to redo the level came later, um, you know, and that is almost the fifth secret of six, and um, it's relatively straightforward to get, but it's quite hidden as well. I think you could easily miss that one at the same time if you were just wanting to progress with the level. Uh, it's quite hidden, and uh, I have to be very careful. Obviously, and, uh, because diver and a guard, if you're anywhere near the surface, they can see it, and uh, if they see it and he dives off, you've had it, because the sixth secret is now locked off and you can't get to it. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass, to say the least. Then you might have to reload the game or whatever, but uh, it is a bit of a pain. 
but you can't miss one secret in the game and still get 59 and still get enough to unlock a bonus level. So uh, some people might just choose to miss that as a secret, but then if you miss that secret, you don't have the luxury of missing any other secrets. So it's going to be a bit of a pain. <laughs> so I'd recommend, you know, getting it anyway. Um, but like I said, if you're not bothered about the secrets, you're obviously not going to give a, a shit about that. It's only, I never used to care about the six times again, there's always, well, let's see all the cheats are, skip all the levels and only play the ones you want to play sort of thing. But this is a grown up man now, oh, doing a grown up let's play. I'll explore the whole game, why not? And, uh, <laughs> there were several cuts. Um, oh, that's a bit of a shame. So I just realized I've, I've pretty much cut the bit where they were. They, I should have I should have left that in. I'm an idiot for not leaving that in because it's really funny when they die from the wall. You're like, oh god. Oh wait, I have shown it. <laughs> oh god. What have I? Now the footage is frozen, the sound is on, I've just got a still picture. I'll keep wearing it now until it's also out. And, and on this picture, you've got some remarkable uh, underwater effects. Ball effects. This was 1998 in PlayStation 1. That's quite impressive. That's quite impressive. Um, in a lot of people keep buying on about this. Uh, that by the game, the graphics were dated, but. In, in the water effect certainly went, I can tell you that. And uh, the water effects are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Good few years out of the time. Good few years out of the time. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, oh, I haven't got the. Picture, it's it's another picture. Uh, uh, I've got the sound effects. I've got uh, 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 oxygen meter on. But the bubbles are so fantastic in this shot. God, saw yourself out to mirror. I don't know what I'm commenting on. That's more like it. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to say, I, I could swore I did leave. Like, what happens when you activate the men in? I heard it happen, but I didn't see it was the thing. <laughs> and when you do it, the alarm goes off, so you know you've got it up somewhere. Um, but like I said, you can still finish the level. You just miss the secret if you choose to. Um, what the funny thing is about that is, is that you do end up activating those men anywhere eventually. But when you do it, the proper way, they don't want the secret off. So, you still have to get a secret. And that's what matters. If you want the bonus level. And uh, even if you don't manage to unlock the bonus level, like I say, um, all you have to do is put the old secret shit in and skip, that, skip all the levels. It's a bit of a pain in the arse to have to do that. But you have to remember the levels that don't have the secrets in. And I wouldn't recommend putting the old secrets chain in the levels with no secrets, for example, because then I could potentially create a bug. <laughs> See, I've done it again. And then the screen's footage. Great. Well, how far along are we? Oh my god, yeah. Oh, well, we've nearly done it. Is that me getting the fifth secret for the third time? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you know where he is, when you know what you're doing, when you are aware of where things are, things are genuinely very, I wouldn't say very easy, but uh, you remember where the secrets are in a tough level like this. It gives you a sense of um, pride in a way. Because 
of the level's reputation, really, have been very hard. But uh, like but, um, the secrets are not the reason it has that reputation. Um, it has that reputation because of a certain segment um, that hasn't come up yet that is very, very obscure and very obscure to navigate. Um, and um, yeah, of course, if you've test played it beforehand and you know the game played it multiple times, it won't be such a problem. The more you do something, the better you get. Um, yeah, and there's the level we have to pull there as well. You see, I'm looking, you see, I can see there's a guy with the light on his head, that's a diver. And the divers in this game are harder to kill than two or two ones. I think it's the same deal with the raptors. They've got tougher for this game. Um, but, having said that, there's still not much for the UPV with the... Of course, the problem is if you've got no harpoon ammo, or not enough, that's going to be a real pain in the arse to do. A real pain in the arse. Because of course you have to leave the enemies, and not be much harder to finish them. Well, not impossible, mind. We have to be very quick and very efficient. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. The only reason I've got so many harpoon guns is because I never used the thing, and... Oops, I have to press the save game, crystal chain, and also cheer for all weapons. And I didn't empty the harpoon because I never used the harpoon. So what I think... Uh, I think it still offers, I think, well, I wouldn't really make it, I think you still get enough harpoons, I think it's to get about, well, if you're not using the things, I promise that about 500, and that should be enough to clear this level, I believe. <laughs> so, what I've learned is, you've got to claw, crawl even when you're here, because if they see you, it's all over, they'll lock the seat off, so, I didn't want that to happen. So I like the element of stealth, it makes sense, just cat suits, you should be sneaking around. Sneaking around in a slinky cat suit, um, incredible, you know. Yes, the warning, it's one of the crumbles is uh, potentially sexier. <laughs> no one or two or three is not bad. Um, yes. But well, the problem is, to Chronos is a weird, compacted backpack kind of back. I don't know what that was about, <clears throat> but it just doesn't look right. <clears throat> so the game was rushed a bit, to say the least. But uh, <clears throat> whereas it wasn't the cat suit issues in the sense that she's got the cat suit in this level, so the backpack hasn't been horribly squashed up. That said, Tomb Raider is a different engine. So, I don't know how they managed to squash the black belt into a triangle. I, was <laughs> I didn't notice until recently. I, I wouldn't have noticed back in the day, you know. Um, I just didn't, I wasn't that nerdy back then. I didn't go out to notice the, the finer deals in the game. Plus, um, my eyesight wasn't as good because, oh crap. Crap. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've come back because I heard a phone call, therefore I had to stop. For obvious, however, <clears throat> it was near the end of the video anyway, so this is just going to be a stop to finish the commentary for this video. So I'm going to be, yeah, like, one minute in total. <laughs> I haven't edited the phone call out fully because I missed the timing out, so you will hear my ringtone. That won't become a problem, I don't think. Um, just the these are not very popular anyway. Um, yeah, but this is the end of the first part of Ludsgate. And all that remains to do. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again. Endeavour to do something very soon.